हेलो एवरी वन वन अगेन आई वेलकम यू ऑल फॉर द ग्रैंड इनोवेशन डे ट्वेंटी सिक्सटीन माई सेल्फ हरीश रिप्रेजेंटिंग ई जी एस कंप्यूटर्स इंडिया प्राइवेट लिमिटेड आई बी शोइंग यू दी न्यू फीचर्स एंड द एडेड एनहेंसमेंट्स इन सॉलिड वर्क सिमुलेशन प्लास्टिक्स एंड फ्लो सिमुलेशन सो लेट्स मूव इन टू दिस सॉलिड वर्क सिमुलेशन इज अ वैलिडेशन ड्रिवन डिजाइन हियर यू आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट योर प्रोडक्ट्स वर्चुअली इन द रियल टाइम कंडीशंस and this gives the designers a scope to innovate and develop new concepts with better design insights and the organization can minimize the cost of prototypes and they can produce detailed fea reports once your product reaches the market these are some enhancements in 2016 solid work simulation 2016 has brought improved controls over the movement of parts and meshing The first one is the mesh sectioning where the user has the ability to view the quality of the internal mesh elements. Next is the intermittent fixtures and find under constrained bodies and fixing them up to avoid errors during the initial stages of the simulation process. And uh, next one is the automated edge gap bonding wherein you have the uh, wherein you can provide individual bonded contacts. So let's move into the simulation interface. So the first model I have is an example of a side release clip. Since this is of a plastic material, I use non-linear analysis to do my simulation. So for time constraints, I use 2D simplification to select it, and I use plane stress uh, to uh, define my problem. and using the top plane as my reference and providing a 6 mm of section depth so i have a 2d simplified model with me so for time constraints i have already run two predefined studies one is for the insertion and other one is for the insertion and release operations so let's have a look into the studies i have defined all the material constraints and i have fixed one of the components and i have taken the symmetry of the entire model and here you can see i have provided a translation movement for 27 mm along this direction since this is going to represent my insert operation and you are, since this is going to be varying with time i define a curve based motion and this entire operation is going to take place till 1 second and i have also provided a 20 newton of force for by selecting this particular edge so after meshing i have my stress displacement results so let's review the stress result so we can directly visualize the stress concentration areas for this particular model so let's quickly move into the second study So I have uh, similar kind of boundary conditions defined for this particular study. So here I have just removed the 20 newton force from my external load, and I have provided this particular vertex for the release operation. And this is also going to take place till one seconds. So I have similar kind of uh, linear movement here. You can directly switch on and off the conditions based on the constraints you are going to give. so i have the stress result with me so you can have the both kind of operations so the next i'm going to explain about the mesh sectioning so to explain this i used my static study to define it This example is a simple part of a robotic arm here. I've used it, and uh, based on the real-time conditions, I'm just going to apply the torque load for this. So I've just applied by selecting these faces and this face as my reference, and uh, I've just applied the fixing uh, constraints here. So to view the mesh quality, I need to uh, I have to predefine the mesh in the initial conditions. 
So here you have the entire mesh model with me. So I just applied the mesh control over these fillet areas for the FEA based conditions. So this is a new enhancement in 2016 that is a mesh sectioning. You can simply uh, take any plane as your reference and you can just slide it to view the internal quality of the mesh elements. And this can also be uh, shown in the results plot also. I have the stress result with me. So you can see the maximum of the stress concentration areas over here. So you, ha you have an option to slide the slider. And in 2016, a new uh, mesh has been introduced to uh, a blender quality uh, curvature based mesh. So you can use this mesh when you don't have, a, when your model is not being meshed for the standard and the curvature based mesh. And the next model I have is a small crane structure to explain the intermittent fixtures which has been introduced. So I have a linear static study being predefined for this particular condition. I simply fixed all the bottom edges and I have applied a 50,000 Newton on the top plane. And simply I just uh, run the study, I have an error being introduced. So you have a uh, prompt of, from the simulation error. So a new announcement here is that you can directly access the knowledge base once you have any kind of errors. So here I have an error showing that the model is unstable. So simply I just go and check my uh, conditions. So I have just provided a small uh, bonded contact. So I'm just going to edit it. So in 2016, you have a uh, pro, you, ha you have an option to provide the solid shell bonded contact, and you can just directly specify the maximum clearance over here. So this time, I'm just going to run the study. Let me just check whether I have any errors or not. So I have uh, my successful run. So simply I just check the stress plot and the displacement plot. Let me just animate it. So I have my entire study being run on the real time conditions. So let's just quickly come to the slide. And there are also some uh, new performance related enhancements as I uh, told about the new measure and a distributed solver. So the next is the flow simulation wherein uh, this is a new add-in product and uh, here you are just going to validate for the flow parameters wherein you are going to uh, visualize the pressure drop across your model, volume, temperature, all those kind of things. And uh, these are some new enhancements wherein you can view the symmetric results in the results plot and you have, uh, uh, you have an option to import the sunlight parameters from the basic uh, SOLIDWORKS model. And let's go to the next product that is a SOLIDWORKS Plastics. SOLIDWORKS Plastics is uh, fully dedicated to the organization which is in, into the uh, injection molding setup. Here you are going to uh, visualize the uh, entire simulation of the plastic melted flow across your mold. And uh, you have the all cooling, uh, you have the fill time plot for your entire plastic and uh, sink marks, well lines and war page effects. And you can predict the manufacturing related defects on your parts and the molds in the initial simulation process. And you can eliminate costly reworks to improve your product quality. Let's have a look of the small example for the similar plastics part. So I have an example of a slot center cavity. This is of a uh, plastic material that is a cap insert. So for this also I have just already uh, run the predefined study. So 
So you have all the results plot being available here. That is the fill time pressure at the end of the fill, cooling time, all those kind of things. And for this condition, I've just provided a gate location at this particular point. And let's just visualize the flow. And you also have a color plot with the analytical values. Coming to the enhancements, a uh, new solver has been introduced in uh, 2016 that is uh, to enhance the solving conditions, a uh, 6AM solver. So you have all the predefined conditions to calculate your flow pack. So here I have a new solver being introduced to enhance the calculation conditions. So coming to the slide again. So I just uh, want to conclude that uh, using the simulation tool you can validate complex problems faster and easier. So that's all about my presentation and I would like to thank you all for having patience.